Yeah. Uh, a key ingredient to Minnesota local beers isn't local at all. Most of the nation's hops are grown in the Pacific Northwest because of its favorable climate. But researchers at the University of Minnesota hope to change that. As part of Next Weather Investigates, Caroline Cummings found out how they're coming up with new ways to bring more hop farms to our state. At his quaint farm in Stillwater, owner John Brock, do everything guy at Stonehill Farm, <laughs> isn't growing any ordinary crop. So we looked at grapes, we looked at you pick berry operations, that sort of thing. But I like to drink beer. His passion for a pint led to his hop growing hobby. Part of retirement for me was to learn something new every day, and I, I still am learning something new all the time about hops. But the Midwest humidity isn't kind to those cone shaped flowers that flavor our favorite beers. A challenging climate is a barrier to business, and why most are grown in the Pacific Northwest, which is more hospitable to hops. With our humid climate, there's mildews that. There's uh, downy mildew and powdery mildews that attack hops. Yeah, those diseases can be devastating. This hop yard is just six tenths of an acre. That's about all Brock and his wife say that they can handle, but a slice of it is on loan to the University of Minnesota. Enter Joshua Havel, a PhD student who's trying to pinpoint hop varieties that can stave off those diseases. He can identify favorable yes. traits and crossbreed them in an effort to make them more resilient to our climate and still taste good. And I thought it might be a really cool crop, uh, especially because of the invigoration of the craft beer industry in Minnesota. And so I thought, heck, I'll give it a try. He says in five years of study, they've discovered some promising selections that could contribute to what he calls an upper Midwest hop growing production renaissance. I would guess within the next one to two, maybe three years, we'll have uh, University of Minnesota hop variety. The lab is this greenhouse in St. Paul with hundreds of different plants. Here on campus and at Brock's farm in Stillwater, the real life simulation. A plant can respond differently to different growing environments and so um, having it tested across multiple locations under different conditions is extremely useful. Brock's Hop Yard produces enough hops for 16,000 gallons of beer. You can find that beer on tap at Pitchfork Brewing across the river in Hudson, which buys all of his hops. I think the flavor that you get from him is a little better um, than getting everything mass produced far away. Co-owner Mike Fredrickson says you can't put a price on the connection to the local crop. There's a relationship, you know, I mean, from John's hop farm, we have a lot of his neighbors that come in here because they know that the hops are growing there and they come to, you know, try the beers that I'll put together with them. A relationship he wishes other brewers in Minnesota and Wisconsin could have too. Brock is hopeful that the hops at the U can make that happen. And if they're successful with that, um, that would be a huge boon for uh, Minnesota growers. It'd be a lot easier for us to grow the plant. Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News. Researchers at the U of M are observing 400 hop breeds. They're working with local hop farmers and the USDA.